Tenerife, a spectacular island in the Atlantic Ocean where you will find unique landscapes from the forest of Anaga to the volcano of Monteide. In this video I will bring you with me on a journey around this incredible island showing you the best places you need to see here. And good morning! I'm starting a video in Los Silos, a little village on the north coast of Tenerife. It's very nice and it's sunny, look how amazing this is. It's actually December, it's still very hot, there are about 30 degrees. One thing you should know is that in Tenerife it's nice weather all year round, so don't worry if you're coming in the winter or in the summer. But uh, it's actually to come here in the winter because yeah, it's less hot than in summer, less crowded and the landscapes are awesome as well. I'm in Los Silos because my hotel is right here, but I'm going to spend a week all around the island, so every day I will go in a different place. And uh, right now I'm going to show you something very cool that I just discovered because I was walking outside of my hotel and I saw something very cool. To be exactly, I mean Charco de los Chocos, that's how this place is called. And the nice thing about this place is that the rock creates a natural pool right here. So if you want to swim, you can come here, swim here, right next to the wave. Look how incredible this is and look how big the waves are. So oh, that felt like being on National Geographic, didn't it? The crabs were my favorite and right now I'm going to Buena Vista, a village uh, not so far away from here and you'll soon see why, so let's come with me. Oh yes, before we are going to Buena Vista, the first tip of the video is that uh, you have to rent a car just because you are free to go wherever you want, when you want and the island is too big and some places are difficult to reach by bus so it's better to rent a car, they are not too expensive, I paid about uh, 250, 300 for a week, so that's good. And the uh, gas prices are low here compared to Italy where I live, so that's also a good thing. So now let's hop on the car, drive to Buena Vista, and I'll continue with the video right there. So, and here I am, I just made it to a little town called Buena Vista, and I'm standing next to the bus station right here. You are probably thinking, why you need a bus if I just told you to rent a car? Just wait for it, I explain it now. Because I'm about to take the bus and go to Punta Teno. Right there, there's a beautiful lighthouse and landscapes are insane. But the only way to get there is by bus. So you will need to take the bus number 369. It's right here. And goes uh, every hour. And uh, that's because the road is very small and there's no place to park the car there. So the only way to get there is by bus. So let's take the bus and go there. <laughs> So, and here I am, that was the bus ride to the lighthouse. There's the bus, and it leaves you direct in front of the lighthouse. And I hope you can hear me because it's very windy. But the landscapes are so nice right here, look at this! So, you can actually see how windy it is by my hair. But uh, this was Punta de Teno, but there's actually one thing I didn't tell you, because last night I already slept in Tenerife, and since my hotel is very close to the bus station, I made it on time to come here at sunset, and that was incredible. Look what I filmed for you.
So that was incredible. The colors were insane. So if you are planning to come to Punta de Teno, make sure to come here at sunset because that's fantastic. And right now I'm going back to the bus and I'm going to bring you to Masca. And it's not so far away from where I left my car in Buena Vista. It's about half an hour from there. And you're going to love it because it's a little village in the mountains. There's a rock right behind the village and it's going to be incredible. So let's go. And I made it back to the bus station of Buena Vista and right now I'm going to hop in my rental car and drive to Masca. It's about 30-35 minutes from here. The road is not that big but you're going to see it and most important you're going to love it. So let's go to Masca. So I just stopped along the road and it keeps getting smaller and smaller the closer you get to Masca. But look at this landscape. Wow. I love it. The only thing to keep in mind is that the road is very small. Sometimes you have these little spaces where you can uh, turn your car or let another car pass. Or if you're unlucky, you get a bus. So let's move on and let's go to Masca. This place where I just stopped is only three kilometers away from Mosca and it's called the Point de Hilda. There's also a cafeteria behind me. Oh yes, and by the way, if you are Spanish or a Spanish speaker, I'm sorry because I will mispronounce all the Spanish names throughout the whole video. So I'm going to write them below so you can get them right. So I just made it to Mosca and at the end of the village there's also a little car parking. There are about, I think, 20, 30 spots, so I don't know in the high season how you are able to park here. But anyways, I'm now looking at the mask and it is exactly how you expect to be. Incredible, look at this. Wow, there's the village right there. There are some restaurants, so right now I'm going to have lunch. And then you see this beautiful village. Oh, you can walk all the way down. Here's a road behind me and there's a viewing point, so I'm going right there. I'm now walking to the end of the village. Oh wow, look at a nice old dog. And the road ends right there. You have the view on the peak. But look at this view. Wow, so nice. Well, I'm still walking here through the streets of Masca. It's a very beautiful. The landscapes are very unique. And the village is quite little, but there's actually a trail that goes all the way to the ocean. It takes about three hours on the way down and about three, four hours to get back to the top. And they said that it's very beautiful, but first of all, I don't have time. But uh, you have also to apply online and uh, fill a form to be able to do it. Anyways, oh, wow, look at this. It's about sunset time, but uh, it's all cloudy right now. There's a lot of fog, but the light is beautiful right now. So I'm happy I made it on time to see the rock right there because it's not that nice if you come all the way up and then it's too foggy to see something. And it really felt like a journey to the center of the earth because I've never seen something like this but it's very nice. It's actually called the Machu Picchu of Tenerife because it's very similar to Peru, they say. Anyways, this is just spectacular. So if you're coming to Tenerife, this is a must. Wow, all the shadows, the fog. Just amazing.
So if you're planning to come to Tenerife, place Nazca, almost to the top because this is incredible. Right now I'm walking back to the car, going back to the hotel and I'm actually going to see you tomorrow because I'm going to visit the forest of Anaga. That's going to be incredible as well. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Today I'm going to bring you in the park of Anaga. I'm in the northern part of the island and right here it's all covered by a very unique forest that only grows here in this part of Tenerife, a little part in Gran Canaria and on the island of Madeira in Portugal and nowhere else in the world. So it's very unique. And I'm now walking on the Sentiero de los Sentidos. And look at this. Look what an amazing forest. It's very unique because all the trees covered pot. And there's also a little bit of foggy today and that adds a little bit of atmosphere and it's perfect. I'm going to bring you around and show you this part of the island because it's worth visiting. <laughs> I just made it outside of Sentiero de los Sentidos and this is actually one of the car parkings in front of the pot but uh, it's very crowded because it's one of the most popular areas of this side of the island so I recommend to come very early in the morning otherwise you have to park next to the street or like me you have to park a kilometer that way because I was too late this morning but it's worth uh, walking here and uh, watching this side of the island so if you're coming to Tenerife Anaga is a must, but uh, this is just a little bit of the. But this was, but this was just a little bit of what you're going to see today because there's much more, and I'm going to show you also the other side of this park. I just showed you is called the Tunnel de las Hadas and it's a very nice place to take photos but next to it if you walk 20 meters along the road there's a pot and you can walk inside the forest and if you look for the popular trails like uh, Los Sentidos or uh, Pico de Igles I think of course they are very nice but even if you walk off those beaten tracks I mean this is still a silent pot but not a popular one it's still very nice because look at this forest, so unique. Wow, all the plants above me, it's very nice. And as I said, I'm now walking back to my car and I just said that it was very foggy. It was actually very nice to walk in the woods with the fog. It added a very cool atmosphere. But it's good that the fog is gone right now because the next stop I'm going to show you is actually a viewpoint. It was not that funny when I arrived this morning at the viewpoint uh, where I wanted to start the video initially and it was uh, all covered up by the fog. But uh, so I decided to leave my car there, walk to Los Sentidos first and then come back. And I was lucky because now the fog is gone and I can show you everything. So let's go. So I just made it back to Pico de Igles, the place where I left my car this morning and oh wow, I can't believe this. Well, this is my rental car by the way and when I arrived this morning I couldn't see more than 10 meters away. And right now I'm back and look at this. Wow. This view is insane, I can't believe it, it's so nice. But there was too much fog this morning, so I thought let's see something else and then come back later. Maybe the fog goes away and it did and it paid off.
So, uh, that was my ride to Playa de Banillo. It's the one you see behind me. And look how incredible this is. Again, so nice right here. There are also a lot of surfers right there. So, I'm going to change my lens and see if I can catch some of them. And then I continue my road trip because I also went more that way of the island, more northern, but uh, the road ended, so I had to come back. And right now I'm going to take some pictures right here because it's just incredible. Good morning everybody! Here I am again. That was the forest of Anaga, another spectacular place here on the island. And right now I'm going to cross the island. I'm on the north side of the island and I'm crossing the mountain and I'm going to the Costa Adeye. I hope you say it like that. And I just stopped along the way in this place called Mirador de lo Molino, I think. And from here you can see the volcano I'm seeing for the first time right now. Because there were clouds the other day, there's the volcano. I'm also going to bring Mio up there in the coming days, so if you want to see other spectacular places, don't click off this video. And right now I'm going to show you the view and then I'll bring you to Playa de las Americas. That's where I'm heading right now and it's place in the Costa Dey. And this is the view behind me. So before I had even time to realize it, I made it to Playa de los Americas and this is a whole different vibe from what I've seen so far on the island. I mean look at this, looks like I mean Las Vegas or something like that. It's so unique and I'm going to spend here a couple of nights and it's going to be great. I can't imagine this by night but you're going to see it. So let's explore Playa de las Americas. I mean I don't know if that's the name of the beach or the name of the place but I'm going to call it Las Americas for now. So, and that was another incredible sunset. Those surfers were insane to watch. And right now, I'm back on the main street, as you can see, and it's time to have dinner. So, let's go and eat something, and then I'm going back to my hotel. And now I'm back in my hotel. That was the coolest dinner I've ever had. I've never seen something like that. It was so incredible. It's actually right there. I'm sleeping in front of the restaurant. And I'm also sleeping in front of the main street. Look at all the lights. And right now I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to see you tomorrow in the morning. Because I'm going to do something really spectacular. And you're going to see it. So, I'll see you in the morning. morning and here I am again. After showing you the lighthouse of Punta Teno, bringing you to Masca, showing you the forest of Anaga, 
and bringing you to the busiest part of the island. Today I'm going to bring you in the national park of Teide, another must if you're coming to Tenerife. It's actually the most visited national park of uh, Europe. Right there, there's the volcano and not only you can go all the way to the top with the cable car, but you can also walk here in the park and there's also a road that goes all the way through and there are several stops where you can just park your car and enjoy unique landscapes. And this is completely different from what I've seen until now and it's so beautiful. Look at the rocks behind me. It feels like I'm on a different island right now, but it's just one hour away from Las Americas. And I'm going to bring you around and show you what this park has to offer. So let's go. So I just stopped again, I left my car here and as you can see this is the road that goes all the way through the park, there's the volcano and there are a lot of these stops so you can just park the car here and take the little trail next to the parking. So literally two minutes away from where I just stopped there was another point where I stopped my car and this looks even more incredible. Look at the rocks behind me. Just walking down there now I drove five minutes more and I'm very close to the rocks right here and this place is called the Rocas de Garcia because there's a rock standing alone and it's very unique and spectacular and this place feels unreal look at this such beautiful rocks wow and the volcano always behind it's a perfect place for focus. So here's the rock as you can see and along the, all the stops I've made here in the park, the rock is the Garcia is my favorite one. It's uh, most picturesque and look at all these rocks right here, the volcano, oh, this is so nice. So there are a lot of stops as I said, they are all beautiful, Rocas de Garcia is the best one. So that was the park of the Tate, it was very nice and I'm now actually driving back to my hotel and I had to stop along the road because look at the clouds behind me, oh, this is so spectacular every time, everywhere I go is always so incredible. But I'm going back to the park of the Tate in a couple of days because I just booked the tickets to go with the cable way all the way to the top of the volcano, so keep watching. And I'm actually going to see you tomorrow because the sunset is already happening and I'm going to my hotel, eat, sleep and tomorrow I'm going again with you somewhere. So, I'll see you tomorrow. So, fast forward a couple of days later and I'm back at the park of the Teide, right here. But today I'm going to bring you on top of the volcano. Right here there's a cableway and I'm going to go all the way to the top. So, let's walk through the cableway and let's see how it looks like from up there.
I just made it to the top. Well, not the real top because the summit is right there. But uh, to go all the way up, you need to apply for a special permit on online weeks before you come here. So I will not be able to go there. And even for the cableway, you need to book the tickets in advance because there's a limit of I don't know how many pairs from every 10 minutes. So I actually bought the ticket two days ago when I was walking down there. And the only possible day was today. It's also my last day here on Tenerife. So I made it on time. And if you're coming to Tenerife, you have to go here on the volcano because the viewers are so nice. And today is cloudy, but only down there. So it feels like you're walking above the clouds. And it's so spectacular. And the cableway was 38 euros to go up and down. Or you can choose to go only up and walk back down, but that's a long way back. That was the visit to the top of the volcano. Well, almost the top. But the best thing is if you combine the visit to the park of Tede with the volcano the same day, because they're very close and the road I showed you is that one where you make all the stops and then you have the parking here for the volcano. But I had to come here another day because the day I was here there was too much wind so the cableway was closed. So, now I'm back in the car. I'm now going to drive back to my hotel because tonight I have to fly back home. But that was the visit to the volcano and to Park Tede. I have to show you a couple of things more, so I'm going to see you in the hotel and explain a little bit more. So, see you there. So, and here I am again. I'm now back in my hotel. It's actually very cool. I'm sleeping behind the pyramid of the Hard Rock Cafe. And that was my visit to the volcano. I couldn't visit the park of the Tide without seeing the volcano. But uh, yes, if you want to go to the summit, make sure to book online uh, the permit, because otherwise you won't be able to go there. And it was very cool because I also saw the smoke coming out of the crater. So that was very cool. And here I am. I'm actually uh, on my way back to the airport, because this was my last day here in Tenerife. But uh, I did much more than I show you. So here's a couple of things I didn't show you throughout the video because I also went to Puerto de la Cruz right here. That's a nice town if you want to spend a morning or just walk there, see the colorful houses, it was very cool. Then yesterday I also went to Los Gigantes. This was an unexpected trip and I did a boat tour of three hours. It was 36 euro per person. And this is how it looked like. It was also a lot of fun. And that was the boat ride in Los Gigantes. It was uh, actually unexpected, but very cool. I also saw a whale, but couldn't get it on camera. But there were a lot of dolphins. And it's actually a protected area for a whale. So 
if you go with less waves you should be able to see more anyways it was a lot of fun right now i really have to hurry up because otherwise i'm going to miss my flight i really hope you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun tenerife is an incredible island i really hope it was useful you enjoyed the video now just one last thing don't forget to subscribe so go down and click on the subscribe button leave a like and i'll see you in the next one bye to look at the lava behind me this is from the eruption that was a long time ago <laughs>